Hello everybody, uh, here I am again with a new video, a new patch and a little story about it and as always I'm gonna go through all the sounds uh, that they're coming out of this patch and give you a little bit of a description of uh, how every sound is uh, coming out and um, a little bit of a story because this was one of the toughest uh, patches I've ever done um, because I started with a completely different um, idea in my head and it was all working uh, fine uh, like I had the truck like 80% ready the whole patch and I was really happy with it but the, this last last part I had to create some magic and it wasn't working and I tried millions of ideas till it worked and eventually the only thing that worked was uh, something very simple I'm just gonna start with uh, with um, making some sound and taking you through the patch and I'll uh, explain the story a little bit uh, in between so um, the first uh, sound is coming out uh, from the resonant equalizer it's another feedback patch lately this has been uh, a great inspiration for me that just to create a certain feedback patch from this module only and then send it through different uh, uh, yeah different ways of uh, experimenting with different combinations of other modules in order to create something interesting let's take this ah no let's just leave it in um, so the sound is like that As you can hear, it's a kind of a scary drone. I am um, really liking this. This is going to be the mood in uh, my next album. So I'm really liking this uh, complex, very dark, ambient. But is it ambient? Yeah, it's something between noise and ambient, something like industrial ambient, I would. Um, describe this mood anyway so it's um, not very complicated the output of a feedback patch from here so there's a feedback coming out from certain frequencies it's going through a filter and I'm pinging the filter with some gates and filter it's a double filter as a low pass and a band pass going to a double delay and there I'm sending some things to the herbiverb, to the reverb, um, through the scent and the signal returns. But it's hard to hear that the reverb is involved in this patch, but it does do things in there with the sounds. And there is an LFO going into the mix, like a random... No, it's just a very slow LFO in there that turns the reverb on and off and um, so yeah there is things happening here uh, but it's not that you clearly hear that there is a reverb involved in this sound so this was the beginning of everything I started with this one and I wanted to have uh, something yes so something with reverb because this is more in, in your face it's like there has low frequencies and some high frequencies also but uh, it's in your face is very close to you this sound I felt it's, it's a heavy sound and uh, if you hear it with good headphones and that you can get all the the low frequencies in there um, you can hear that too um, I thought I needed some sounds that they are also short and percussive but they are a little bit further so with a little bit more space in them or you can call it a reverb so I have a, a loop going on the morphogene you hear it now it's like little sounds that I recorded here at home just hitting different surfaces and uh, I put them all in different splices in the morphogene 
and there's a random CV that's going through the different splices that I've made and the output goes into the clouds and you what you hear is actually a hundred percent the reaction of clouds so you don't hear uh, anything the blend is hundred percent but I really like the sound I mean if I isolate it it's the sound The reverb is not 100%, it's like 50% in there. And the pitch is full on, so it creates more high frequencies. I really like that in comparison with, uh, in combination, sorry, with the first sound. Okay, further, I wanted something crazy, something really that is um, going all over the places. And um, I did something with rings by sending it burst um, uh, bursts out of the Vogel bag into the voltage per octave and then I'm modulating some parameters there not a lot of parameters just two of them mainly the structure that can give you really crazy stuff and uh, rings by itself sounds like that Really crazy, a lot of frequencies. And um, yeah, it, it's, it's quite crazy, but it's somehow because these are more drony things, um, they don't really bombard you with too much um, information, let's say. This one is the one that's heavy. It's a lot of information. There's a lot of sounds going crazy, like really, really, really fast. And I wanted something like that in the patch. And I think together, if I don't push rings into the volume too hard, that it's interesting to bring it in and out. Obviously, this is not gonna go like always. It's not gonna be always in the track. Like I'm gonna turn it off also for quite some uh, long periods because it could be quite tiring to hear this the rings like that all the time anyway so that's the basic three uh, sounds and then the fourth one it's a very simple patch with this wonderful wonderful synth the Rebus every time I use it I'm surprised how good it sounds and I'm thinking why I'm not using it all the time. It's a very beautiful sound. And this delay sanction also gives it a very interesting character. Um, what's going on in here is like the zero coast with a kind of a random patch sending gates. And also um, the Rene is sending quantized CV for the pitch. And also just normal CV uh, for in the filter, so higher notes. I have a little bit more like an open filter and I'm sending uh, this sound I'm using it completely with external effects so uh, like a reverb and a delay some very basic things and it sounds much more beautiful like that not too much reverb just a little bit but the delay let me see It's a, it's a, a tape delay um, simulation, of course, it's not a real tape delay, but it's quite good. Um, it gives me a melodic element that comes as a, a little bit as a surprise, but it carries the track. Uh, otherwise, you have very static, heavy drones that, um, yeah, you can... Uh, turn in and out but a driving force for a track to keep it interesting is definitely a melodic element so Airbus is gonna play this uh, and although it triggers at random with um, the delays and the reverbs the effects it has a quite a presence into the into this track and even if I close down the on the mixer it just you can hear it still it's still there so I can turn it in and out very easily without interrupting anything. Now, 
I was I had these four tracks, so let me put them all in. So the basic drone, let's call it. And then the samples from the morphogene. And the idea is to turn rings in and out. And then also to bring in the Erebus. And some rings again. And then again, of course, like always, I try to see which combinations of these sounds can be uh, together. So, for example, uh, I can have, if I take the bass down, can I have the rings and the arabus together? It's an interesting couple. Can I have the morphogene in the Erebus? Definitely, they both have this kind of reverb, this space in them. That's an easy fit, an easier fit. Can I have the Erebus? And the feedback. I also like it, because the one is just there, dominant, down in the low frequencies, and the other one is a little bit more uh, cheerful in the high frequencies, chirping like like a bird, <laughs> like a little bird. So there are some interesting combinations you can do. Also, if I turn the Airbus down, I can have the Airbus with a feedback patch. Try to figure out the right volumes for each, the couples. Or, of course, I can have these two together. And the last combination will be without the feedback, just with the morphogene and the rings. I feel that this is a very flexible patch, that all these sounds can be combined um, with each other in two in couples, like two together or three together, all, all together. It's not overcrowding, but you don't want that to have that in the whole track. Of course, I'll be tiring. And um, to be honest, I was that's where I got stuck because I thought this is great. This is a great, uh, these are great sounding uh, things that they fit with each other. So you can do something interesting. Uh, but then I was, I wanted to put a, a really huge kick in there. Uh, also that goes really hardcore and distorted and that goes like really fast but at random times to create a, a very wild track eventually but I tried all kinds of possible ways to create a, a, a very distorted kick and uh, to be honest I was never happy with the result somehow the kick was telling me that it needs something else to work and even I, when I made the rings completely crazy like that still was it enough to carry that kick around so uh, eventually the one thing that worked was the most simple idea that I just made a nice little drone sound from the master of drones the Benjolin which People think, oh, that's such a crazy instrument and it's very experimental. And But that's, you know, <laughs> it's like, uh, this is amazing drama scene. And through the effects, the external effects, just a very simple drone and I have it run super slowly. So this drone, it is going to go slowly open or slowly disappear like now I got it on the point where it disappears I will leave it, leave it on and we'll see when it comes back and it can do some crazy little things with harmonics there because I have the resonance of the filter quite high and adds harmonics you hear the frequencies being added um, 
and very rare I can hear also some weird things happening from the Wrangler but very slowly and maybe it doesn't happen maybe it happens maybe it does happen I like that I like that it doesn't disturb the patch the rest of the track because it's kind of a bit low in the background and that's the constant in this patch like this is the one thing that goes on all the time and it is in the background but somehow it's the glue that binds all the sounds together as a you know like a carpet and then you can put all the things on top of it and you can build something uh, it's the foundation anyway so uh, yeah this is the whole patch I will play all the tracks together make a little bit of a performance like two minutes like a very short one because the video is running long um, but yeah last thing I want to mention about this patch is keep working till you're hundred percent happy about it I got stuck so many times with this uh, patch that I was yeah every time wanted to quit but like Michael Jordan we never quit and <laughs> um, very inspirational documentary by the way this uh, last dance documentary about the Chicago Bulls anyway I'm going off topic um, never quit N always work your sounds because the more I was searching the more I was developing the current sounds that I had the more I was making them more interesting so uh, and I made an amazing amount of performances and recorded uh, all of them I have probably have recorded like 16 different performances uh, with little differences in sound just to see if it works and I would listen the next day or two days later and I wouldn't like it and I would start again and I would tweak one sound I would tweak another sound we'll make them better I'll make a new recording listen again didn't like it next day again try again different idea maybe I don't have any ideas let it let it be just let it be for a day or for a few hours watch something else read your books uh, watch a movie do something else come back to it it's like a mathematical problem like that you know you just leave it and maybe the next day you have a good idea and that's the idea that solves it and eventually it was a very simple drone that for me it solved it so music is not very concrete like mathematics of course so it's what what for me it works it's not very easy to prove it to you that it works for everybody you know so anyway so I would start with this drone I would just let it go out and when it starts coming back in I will start to move my other sounds in so I will turn the video now a little bit that way so you can see a little bit the mixer and the drone is here going into the effects and it's coming back so I'm gonna turn quite high because I wanted to be dominant I, I wanted to be dominant um, I will enjoy it a little bit focus on it listen to it it's evolving it's changing it's not always the same there are the triggers coming in and you hear them pushing that feedback sound to higher frequencies you hear them, and with a delay, you hear differently right and left, and then slowly, slowly, I will bring the morphogen. It gives you space. So now you have a sound that comes from a little bit more far away. Drone is out right now. 
it's gonna come back in again. So it carries the song forward also. And um, I will wait, maybe, till the drone from the Benjali comes back again. Yes, I hear it. Something's happening. Yes. And I will bring the rings. The crazy rings sound. Not too loud. I don't want it to be dominant. Right at this moment, I have a choice. I have the last sounds, the Airbus. I could create some space for the Airbus to bring some surprise in. So I could just turn something off or while the filters, the, sorry, the drones come down, I could turn the volume of the Morphogy down and bring the Airbus. Things are happening with the drone now, I can hear the vibrations. I could now bring back the morphogy slowly, slowly, take the rings out. You gotta be careful because rings is could be very dominant. Uh, so if you turn it off very quickly, also. Uh, yeah, it's very abrupt. You don't want that. You want to keep the flow. And anyway, this is this is how I would work. And I'm recording this. I would record this performance. We'll listen to it later on. And if I like the flow and the balance between the sounds, I will keep it. If I don't, I will do another performance and another one. But I think I got this one with the third time. So I needed three performances to get the right one. I already recorded it, so that's why I'm doing this video now. I know for sure this is a track. And of course, as always, you can find this track. I'll put the volume down. Um, you can uh, read, uh, listen to the whole track properly mixed and mastered at the description below. So yeah, I will start turning things on and off and eventually I will decide also that the Airbus which is going to be for a long period in in the track that eventually it's gonna go also out for the end and then I will just close everything together with uh, the main volume uh, and make like a fade out so this is um, um, how this patch became a track and a little bit the background story of it. I hope it's inspiring. I hope uh, you get some good ideas. Um, subscribe. And I will continue doing this with different patches, different sounds. Who knows what the next track will be. I have no idea. It's always... Um, it starts with something small and then becomes after... <laughs> who knows how many days. This took me a long time. Um, it becomes something. And... Uh, who knows what the next one will be thank you for watching and uh yeah hope to see you at the next one thank you